Coach, you go 10 and 4 since taking over on your home floor. Of those other nine wins, how do you discuss tonight? What do you say about tonight's victory? Tonight felt good. Felt really good just to bounce back from the Adelaide and also to be able to beat the defending champs on your home floor and play as well as we did. Uh, and to see all these guys, you know, into the game for the whole 40 minutes. I mean, the energy from the crowd, um, the, the t attention to details from my guys. I mean, the win really felt good. And, it, and it, while that was happening, you know, guys were making shots and making plays on the defensive end. A week ago, you said I wasn't happy with the start. We've always switched on all over that. At the end of the community conference, you said, so what do you say is going to happen in the next game? You said we will come out switched on. They did, and um, this whole week was tough for them. This was a tough practice for these guys this week, and uh, they'll t they'll let you know. Uh, but you know, just for them to understand, we got smart basketball players, and they know if they stick with the game plan and, do and study their opponent, like you know, like our staff does, then they just come out there and play because we're you know our depth and our talent is really good when we on when we on point and when we unselfish. So we just have to pay attention to details because you know Taz is an unbelievable team, they're defending champs, and they will not give up and they'll just keep punching. And so we just had to find a way to. We had to find a way to put them down, and what, the, way, the way we put them down is paying attention to our details and stick to the scout. The opposition coach, rather than ranting or raving, just told us, you know what? I just sat back and enjoyed the performance of the whole school. That's what the Jack Jumpers coach said. How do you react that? <laughs> that's, that's a compliment. <laughs> that's a compliment because we want to we want to be what they are, champions, right? So if you know the coach of another team is enjoying our team play unselfish and tough on the defensive end, we're doing something right, and so we want to build off that and and you know hopefully we don't let out. Yeah, the effort was unbelievable because we got, you know, we, once again, we got guys coming playing four minutes and taking some guys out and the other guys come play two, three minutes and they didn't let that effort down from the guys who, that they subbed in for. So once that momentum didn't drop and we knew our second quarter was our kryptonite a little bit and we, we, we talked about that and the guys who were playing and started the second quarter, you know, they went on a 5-0 run. We called a timeout and we got it together. Guys really got on each other in that huddle and they came back, bounced back out and gave ever plays and understood what we needed to do. The next to seven defensive rebounds. I mean, is that the best game you remember playing? I don't think it's a good one. I, I believe so. I mean, he plays, that's what he does in practice. You know, he's just at consistently, you know, trying to get better and pushes us in practice. I think he was trying to uh, build his stats up a little bit with those, uh, <laughs> with those rebounds. But, <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm glad he's on our side because, I mean, Dave was a guy that, you know, our team loves. And then at the end of the day, he pushes us physically and mentally at practice. And then it shows on the court. So, I mean, I'm, I'm glad he's on our side. Bill, there are a couple of matchups. You guys really know the same problem with Will Magnate, but especially Lonnie um, and Will last time as well. You, you um, sang his praises, but tonight felt like you really set the time. He's the head of the snake. You know, Wani does his thing on the defensive end. He, he doesn't say much, but he does a lot, right? And I think he took that uh, last week as a, uh, a slap in the face to him, allowing Davis to get so comfortable and, and, you know, dictate the game. And he knew this week that he wanted to really show what who Wani is as a 3 and D player, if not the best one in the league. Dave, uh, you talked to us about the week of practice, was it? <laughs> Body dropping like flies. That's the, that's the best way to put it. I think my uh, like guys are just a bit sore, a bit fatigued, you know, whatnot. Um, but we ended up coming out and just pushing through, you know. And uh, I think it was for the better, obviously, because the result that ended up coming out. But, you know, the boy, boys pushed through. It, it was good in the end. Is that where the improvement sort of comes from this team? Is it the sort of practice standards and things like that that is creating the, the onboard improvement we've seen over the last 12 months? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's that. I feel like it's just the, the continuity in the team, like, like JT's been talking about. It makes it a lot easier when you're coming in and the guys that have already been here have been here. You know, like guys understand that we were so close last year. One game literally could have changed everything. Um, so we know that we're coming in and everybody's got a similar goal in mind. So as long as we have that goal in mind, which is a chip, it's all good. Early days, JT obviously in the season, but a statement win. How big of a statement win is that against the defending champions, obviously, um, you know, in front of your home teams as well? Uh, it's huge. Just let us know where we're at. You know, let us know where we're at. And uh, especially how bouncing back from that last game against Adelaide and that we know we can sit up here and we can correct ourselves and, 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 be, and challenge the next game. So I, I felt it was, uh, like you said, it is early. You know, 4-1 and one at the Kenton's case, that's only five games played. But every game, every win, every point in this league is, you know, is important. And so for us to get an early start like we're doing and setting the tone 
early in the quarters is, is something that we didn't do last year, right? We was going back and forth or losing most first quarters. So now us getting out here being, you know, right now we're the highest scoring team in the first quarter. Uh, and that's something that we step, you know, have, put our pride on because if we know we have a good first quarter, then the rest of the game we can we can manage. So, uh, you know, that, it was it's been good. It's been good so far. Obviously, you have been with the uh, attacking side of things, but the defense tonight, do you think that that set the tone for, for you guys tonight? Yeah, that's what I love the most. You know, I know we can score any anytime, anyway, but, you know, the guys know I hang my hat on defense. All I do is Nick pick about defense during practice or whatever the case may be, and I challenge him. And so, like, from Eva, from Tyler to Sam to Lucky to Davo, everybody, Darius, they really stepped up their defense a game today. And collectively, when we do that, we make other teams, you know, take tough shots or we rattle them or, you know, shoot early in the shot clock. So, uh, and we can switch, you know, intangibles. And so that, that's a plus for, with our group because we are so physical in that area. And, you know, we're not a great shot blocking team, but we, we want to do our best to keep you in front of us and make it difficult. Now, I guess how pleasing is it that the points were shared around a lot tonight, obviously, David, uh, Sam, Tyler, all, all you how, how pleasing is that to you as a coach? <laughs> it's good because I always say play unselfish basketball. You know, I don't want, if, you, if somebody's making you take a tough shot, then, you know, you need to come sit by me because once we got somebody to pass it to who can make that shot, whoever you're passing it. So don't feel uh, obligated that you got to put, you know, the everything on your shoulders. Make sure you use your teammates. Will, uh, what were you and the boys working during the week? Because you had an excellent combination with Tyler and Sam tonight and also the other boys. I really saw one of the best games I've seen this season. From, Why from the Hawks, you said? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So could you repeat that, the start said, of it? I said... How, what, did you, what did Justin work with you guys? Because you and Tyler and Sam had a really good game tonight. What did he say to us? No, well, what did he work on? Oh, what are we working on? Oh, yeah. God, I, I, I don't know. I feel like we're just, we came out to just play basketball. Like, JT just, you know, he reiterated, he reiterated all week that we've got to step it up on the defensive end first. And those second quarters, like he said, are our kryptonite, you know? So as long as we clean those things up, like, if you put me out there with whoever, I'm, I'm going to go do my job, you know? So and I feel like JT knows that as well. Like, we've got, we're so deep, it doesn't matter who you put out there. It's just someone tonight. Dan got some minutes tonight. When do you reckon he'll be fully fit to play the football four quarters? Me? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, everybody's usage is different. And I think that we used, I told DG this week that we're going to give you an early bump because we want you to aggravate Doyle as much as you can. We really want to set the, the defensive tone. And DG has had a great week of practice. Uh, and he knew that early on off. So as long as these guys know what their job is going in early, they can set their mental forward. And he, he came out and did his thing. Cool reaction when he went over that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, keep your fingers crossed. We want to make sure he's healthy. That's it. Uh, but yeah, but that's what DG does. He'll run through a wall, you know what I mean? And, and so we just want to make sure that he recovers from running through the wall. Uh, but you know, he, he brought a ton of energy, man. He's, he was ready, you know, all the way to the end of the bench. So the guys, even the guys who played the last couple minutes of the game, you know, you, the tempo didn't drop much. I remember towards the end of last year, JT, you said that even when the team was going as well, you felt like people weren't kind of giving you the raps that they needed to. Do you feel like four on start performance like that? I think we need to start the same. Yeah, they should. They should. I mean, you know, we're the highest scoring team in the league. We have, we have one of the deepest team in the league. You know what I mean? And we have most of our guys coming back. So there should be some respect factor there. And we're playing well right now. And so um, even though that, you know, no, there's nowhere near the playoffs yet or no, no standings, we, we're happy where we're at and we know we can get it ton, 10 times better. So actually, I feel if you hold your own at the defensive end, you'll blow them away offensively. Given that there's a high scoring team in the league by our own way, and we've now topped 100 in four of your five games, so if you at least match the defensive effort, the opposition just going to blow them away offensively. I I don't think I'm going to say we're going to blow anybody away. I think we'll make it difficult for them to win games. You know, it's because you – how do you scout us? You know, if you got five to six guys in double figures every night, and then, you know, our offense is, you know, it's just at the ne- of a field at most times and making sure that you trust the next guy. So, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not going to say we can blow anybody out, but we'll make it very difficult, you know, for you to win a game if, uh, if, we're, on our, if we're on our job defensively. No, I think you had 18 career high against Melbourne late last season as part of that big finish to the last campaign. Now you've had a, a career night this evening as part of a good start this season. Uh, how do you look at that patch of your basketball? Has something clicked in terms of your confidence, your sense of belonging? Has someone instilled something in you? What, why is Will Bebo Vicky playing such good basketball right now? Well, I've been saying this for like a few years now, but I, I genuinely feel like it's, it's what, like your relationship with your coach. And for a lot of my career, I haven't had a coach that's just believed in me or just taken me for who I am, you know? And JT sort of came in and he, he took me for who I was, you know? And 
Like, all I do is play hard. That's, I'm trying to win basketball, and I feel like he recognised that. So just to be seen is enough for me to go out and, you know, blood, sweat and tears, leave it on the court. That's, that's all good for me. Now that you are being seen, you know, I have delivery numbers like 15 and 8. Do you feel like there's more still to come? Are you thinking I can be a double, double man? <laughs> I feel like I can be a triple double man if you need me to. Look, I, 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 I'm playing a role, and I, I play my role well. Like... But at the end of the day, I, I, still, I still feel like I can produce more. But it's not what the team needs right now. The team needs me to go out and get those eight balls, get those extra possessions, and get the guys who you know, need the ball in their hands so we can keep rolling. You always had those sneaky springs. You get up high. <laughs> like, when you're a kid, people saying, hey, man, how do you get up that high? Yeah, I've always been a good jumper, like high jump on that. I guess it just sort of translates well um, from footy, rugby league into this. So, yeah, just on the wing, catching high balls. Winger, fullback, 5'8", whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> Lock, prop. Uh, Jake, it's like coming up between the <laughs> Tell him my door's open. His girlfriend's still better than him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cop it, I'll cop it. He's not lying. All done? Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that, appreciate that, fellas.